uh, covered by by these big stone blocks, where they mm -hmm. did some researches, and this is double stronger than the newest cement which they mm -hmm. are using now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's definitely a kind of uh, human-made stone. Mm -hmm. That's one point. If it's covered, was it a normal mountain? let's say, normal mountain, and then covered with stone blocks. Mm -hmm. That's we don't know, but we know that there is a tunnel system inside. Well, okay. I mean, there is a tunnel system no inside. Block. And there is, in, in, in the center, is one room. Mm -hmm. And four tunnel connections are going away. Mm -hmm. And in the room, uh, we found bones and material. So, okay. call it pyramid or not, no, no, it has a pyramid shape. shape. Structure, yeah. They found stone blocks on some parts, which is man-made. Mm -hmm. So, so it is. Yeah. And you surprised? I mean, and and nice. I had just yesterday with a mathematician, with a good friend of mine. He's a genius mathematician, mm -hmm. really genius in mm -hmm. Germany. And when we did the scan and he saw the tunnel system, yeah. he already calculated yeah. mathematically that this is creating energy. Uh -huh. And that's why they, can, they could already uh, make the approval of a, a strong energy going up straight on top of this pyramid. So, and the next thing is, I was two times already in the in the mm -hmm. labyrinth, which they found outside, about 2.5 kilometers from the pyramid. Mm -hmm. well, but we could then um, also show that one tunnel is connected with the labyrinth, the labyrinth. directly. Mm -hmm. And the labyrinth itself is for me one of the most mm -hmm. strangest things, yeah. Yeah. because we were inside, we checked everything, and there is no radiation, zero, completely zero radiation. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, animal, there are no animals inside, nothing, but there is more than over 40 times more negative ions than in a good room. Uh -huh. So that means it's, it's, and they found these big stones, uh -huh. which they thought stones, but then they did a material check and it is ceramic. That means that means oh man-made ceramics, big blocks, and there is some energy connection with underground. And then they did very very specialists from Finland, sound experts. They did recordings inside the pyramid, oh. and the sound which we cannot hear, mm -hmm. but they made it hearable. Mm -hmm. And this is a very strange sound, very strange. It sounds like there is an ancient running, you know, mm. something. Mm. And the question is, first of all, who was doing this labyrinth? <laughs> Second, and for me the most incredible thing is, who filled it completely again? I mean, if you fill, if you have a secret, you fill and check out, is this a really strange uh, human connected Mountain, let's say, always call it mountain, mm -hmm. because as soon as you say pyramid, everybody are stupid. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, stupid. Yeah, yeah. Use these words, that's a problem. Use yeah. Those words, pyramid. Yeah. Are these tunnels or systems in, in any way uh, connected with the um, north, south, east, west? Uh, oh, with it's a spiral a form. spiral form. That's why the so mathematician... Vortex, like vortex. That's what the mathematician already calculated, he said, that creates energy. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. they did the measurement on top, and there is energy straight going up. Mm -hmm. So still, I think when they can go inside, and they really, and I'm sure they find something inside in the room, of course, mm -hmm. because my friend detected bones and gold. gold. That means artifacts. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they find this, who can say this is not human-made pyramid? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
but to feel this labyrinth for me, there must <laughs> be something inside which is so important, so important that, they but that they completely, completely filled it up. But still left kind of sign. If someone yeah, dig it out, the stone walls. The stone walls. You always see here much because the filling material is completely the same with the natural material. Uh -huh. Only much weaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is, you can just make by hand and you know, ah, here stop. Mm -hmm. It's more hard. So you just can take it out. Mm -hmm. This work, how did they do it? And why did they why, do it? Why, why did they do it? Ah, but you know, this why is always a provocation. <laughs> I mean, with our way of thinking around yeah. mind, they cannot solve it. Yeah. It's amazing. Nobody knows this is still in I, I think. Because officially, those pyramids are mountains. In Bosnia, they don't exist. There are yeah. no mountains. Officially. Yeah, because how should pyramids exist in Bosnia? Yeah. Mm. In Europe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Only Egypt. Mm. Yes. No, not only Egypt. Oh, no. Worldwide. Worldwide. We yeah, found, yeah, know, we know, found uh, in Crete. A pyramid which looks exactly like, not exactly, but it's also, if you look at it, it's a mountain. Mm -hmm. But the earth on this mountain mm -hmm. is different with the earth all around. Uh -huh. So we did a scan and it was incredible. Yeah, I saw it on. That's that technology. We have already places all over the world which yeah. you just won't believe. <laughs> but if you say there is something, you can say, oh yeah, how do you know? How do, yeah, well, yeah, how do I know? How do you know? And we won't talk about the technology, no? No. because then they chase you. This is why one of the questions, are you afraid for yourself? No. I mean, are you so big provocation for the others, so you're not afraid? Uh, no. <laughs> there is somebody watching. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, the moment you are afraid, you I cannot know, work. Structure with the tunnel and a lot of stones. Um, Bowman, it's a Bowman. Um, Karnak. Kar yeah. yeah. Okay. At the end of the tunnel, you have a big plate, like three meter high of height and such granite, so a bit like this, with some uh, carvings. Yeah. On one side of this plate, you know, with a, uh, you know, on, on the string, which makes, okay, mm -hmm. you have one direction, of, and here another direction. Mm -hmm. The first trick. The second trick, the same, this granite plate has uh, a radiation of uh, uranium, weak, but it has. And they said, that if someone has kind of illness problem, mm. it could be uh, it could cure him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, plo 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 it's called. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 20, 4 meter length. Yeah. yeah, so it's not a way. Yeah. Superb. Okay, let's let's start on something. So my magazine is mainly. Uh, is the biggest one, the most important one in the market, but the readers are mainly women, older women, families. So, family. the family magazine. Mm. So, let's go to make some story which still will be believable to them, but still enough provocation that everyone would be just quiet. So, what or, or which artifact that you found will put out? What do you think? What do you suggest, propose? What kind of story from you? But I think that you know the most. This was I know. 2001, the exhibition in Vienna we did. Ah, 2001? Yeah. And we showed 470 artifacts from different countries. And what were people saying? Were they surprised? Shocked? Yeah. Super. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> but of course the scientists against. No? Are against. I oh, of course. Of course.
I mean, I found a lot of things on the internet about you, but I wanted to you say you know, what to put out. <laughs> every every artifact has some I know, history. A story, yeah. Everyone. And sometimes you think this is not so interesting, but exactly this one is interesting. It, might, yeah. uh, it could tell you more mm -hmm. than some others. And that's why I was going more into the artifacts mm -hmm. and not on the constructions. Uh -huh. Because everybody is researching on the constructions. Mm -hmm. The pyramids in Mexico, in South America, everywhere. And uh, megalith uh, mm -hmm. blocks and yeah, stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big things. Yeah. But I think the little things can tell you more about the history because mm -hmm. people yeah. showed the daily life or, or mm -hmm. what was for them strange mm -hmm. or mysterious. So you can find more answers, I think, on the artifacts instead of the buildings. Mm -hmm. The buildings can also give you some details like geometrical and uh, mathematical yeah. and location wise. But uh, artifacts are telling more stories. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. They tell you about yeah, the level of... But for a second, this is wrong. I mean, till that moment I was believing the official history. Then I immediately knew something is really wrong. Yeah. Do you know our lady, uh, Fanny Okic from Slovenia? No. She wrote no. Boris Mujic also. and Boris Mujic. No. They wrote uh, an amazing logic. book, but unfortunately one in Slovenia believed in them. But finally, okay, she's lady, 94, I think she has now. Uh, crazy, superb. Okay, it's not like you, because she cannot travel so much around. She doesn't search so much for artifacts. She just entered in some museum and found some hidden what is somewhere. Mm -hmm. This is enough for her. And because she's a woman, she gets another kind of thinking. Yeah, yeah. And it's really nice. Her books are amazing. But nobody wants to translate them in English language or whatever, you know, so they are yeah. forgotten. Mm. This, this, this is the problem that many information through the, the different languages mm -hmm. are going to be missing. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There was one man in Germany who was also 96 years, and when I got in contact with him, he was about 91 years, and he was perfect in 40 languages, Ooh. 40. Mm -hmm. And when I showed him pieces from uh, unknown writings, we found uh -huh. in many places, but it was always the same writing in Ecuador, in Colombia, in United States, in France, in Italy, in Malta, in Turkmenistan, and in Australia. And it was always the same writing. And in each country, this is not accepted as offic official archaeological finding. <laughs> in France, they found it already in 1924 in Glosel. Over 3,000 pieces, a farmer, when he was working on his ground. Mm -hmm. So age dating was too old to believe. So still now, this collection is not accepted as officially archaeological finding. They say the farmer might have made it. Mm -hmm. The farmer mm -hmm. <laughs> makes 3,000 pieces, mm -hmm. wonderful <laughs> carvings and so on. I mean, that's, that's just, stupid. I know. It's like, like, just stupid. It's, yeah. And then yeah. I sent him pictures, and he did already work on, on the oh, United so States uh, stones, uh -huh. and he could translate this writing. Uh -huh. He was the only one. And now there is an Italian professor who is also able to translate this writing. And Schildmann was his name, Professor Schildmann. He said he called this writing pre-Sanskrit, uh -huh. because he said yeah. older than the oldest yeah. writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why the science don't accept this writing? Because they say it is a mixture, a mixture of runes, uh, a mixture mm. of uh, Greek, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that means, and it has a, some of the of the of the symbols have a similarity with the Easter Island mm -hmm. writing mm. and with uh, Hindu Swali writing, Mohenjo-daro. And for me, this is the approval mm -hmm. that there global was a global civilization. civilization. 
because who would make yeah. faith yeah. 1924 mm -hmm. if you read the Mahabharata yeah. Yeah. they yeah. describe yeah. exactly yeah. like an atom yeah. explosion yeah. 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 that the food was poisoned yeah. that the birds were falling down yeah. from the trees yeah. Yeah. that the hair went away and the nails getting longer this is exactly like in Hiroshima happened mm -hmm. so why everything must be alien and now Stephen Greer the, the American he is now making he made a movie now mm -hmm. and using a big part a small mummy from uh, yeah. Chile we had it already 2005 in our exhibition <laughs> he is saying first time worldwide we show an alien bullshit we did 2005 research with two specialists what they said it's not a fetus it's not an unborn child mm -hmm. definitely and the, the, the anatomical professor said I think uh, for me it is a child in the age between four and six years uh -huh. And a few, a uh, few months before we found this, they they found this one is 14 centimeters. Okay. Yeah. And they found in Russia one near Chelyabinsk, mm -hmm. which was 28 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So, if the Chilean is a child with four to six years, the Russian one is double size, is an adult. Yeah. And this one in Russian was living. And the old wife in, in the mountainside found it. And this wife was a devil. She was not very good in mind. Mm -hmm. And she took it home. And this, this being was living with her. And she explained that this being was only taking sugar water. No food. Yeah. Only sugar water. So one day she was shopping in the village and she broke down and they brought her to the hospital. Uh -huh. And when she wake up, she wanted to go home. And they said, no, you have to stay here. Then she started yeah. complaining, yeah. I have to go home to oh, take care of my baby. She yeah. said of my baby. <laughs> so they and she was crying and things, so they brought her to psychiatric, psychiatric mm. hospital. And one nurse there, after a few days, she thought something must be behind mm. the baby. No? So she called the police, they went there, they opened the door and was dead. Mm. And it was living. Still living? Yeah. No, it was dead. Uh -huh. uh, but before it was there. Now it works, you know. Hello, I see mother. I pink rod. About, you know, in, in Slovenia we have also the old stories about the elves. Yeah. I got report in Ecuador from researchers. They went to, to a place in the mountains where you have petrified trees. Uh -huh. That means a very, very, very old place. Uh -huh. And they saw little little people running around mm -hmm. and they found some working tires there very small. they did it already before him the research if there might have been contact with aliens but they did not say there was contact with mm -hmm. aliens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they were questioning mm -hmm. and this is serious mm -hmm. but you cannot just say alien everything is alien, alien. Yeah. this is nonsense of course there are UFO sightings and everything, but what is it? Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. So better, better research our own history because before saying everything was brought by aliens. Our people were mm -hmm. very clever. Mm -hmm. They had more knowledge than this we do it. until yeah. today. Yeah. This is, this is it, yeah. If you look some of these constructions in, in Peru mm -hmm. or in Japan under the, the water, the yeah. Yonaguni, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do it today. No, we cannot. Uh, it's it, it's okay. impossible. Or in, in, in uh, Africa, the stone the lady in stone, yeah. 140 meters in rock. In rock. 
140 meters. <coughs> and this is very hard rock. Mm -hmm. And the face is not African. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. the, the, the Definitely yeah. not African. And we had also experts checking the photo, making the me measurement. Yeah, Definitely yeah, yeah. fits a perfect sky. And they think either from Asian region mm -hmm. or from South America, and mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. from South America, right, because that's the closest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are the stories that South, Af uh, South America, Africa was together. together connected. Yeah. No. There is still so much we don't know. But the easiest explanation is aliens. <laughs> in, in, in the program, ancient, ancient aliens in, in History Channel. Did you see this program? No, I don't look at it. No, Never. because Sorry. all serious researchers, they are now just getting popular. They are sitting now there and saying, it must have been aliens. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I just say, are you sure? Prove it. Yeah, so prove it, yeah. You cannot say something mm -hmm. which you cannot mm -hmm. prove because that opens the other side but it's, to it's attack it's you. It's this is way, yeah. And also this is way in to 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 move the um thinking of ordinary people away. Yeah. yeah. I mean this is the main trick. Yeah. How to push um it away. Yeah. But on the other side, we have Sumerian tablets. Yeah. With uh, <coughs> very fine uh, uh, explana explain also this uh, presence of uh, aliens. You talk about Sitchin. Sitchin, yes. Yeah, there are many, many experts, really experts, on uh, the Sumerian writings, mm -hmm. and they talk against him. Against him. So, is he right? Is the translation what he say he can do better than the translation which really writing experts are saying? Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. question. Yeah, right? the question, the question. What about the and what he said? With his technology, he he would need one piece of this mummy, and. He also and myself, we said that would not be worthwhile to break it yeah. because it's a mummy. Yeah. So you should I not yeah. just break yeah. it. What Gear did, Stephen Gear, he mm -hmm. this uh, being had a hole here. They took some material outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But still, the professor of the university does not say it's alien DNA. What he found is the DNA of a, a wife, the, the mother's DNA from a Chilean indigenous. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so now, you see, you have to be careful with, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. just saying we found worldwide yeah. the first yeah. alien. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Just say what you can prove. And if I don't know something and people ask me, I say, I don't know. Because they always ask me, yeah. do you think there were aliens here? I said, I don't know. Some pieces look very strange, like the Mexican pieces, yeah, yeah, yeah. with UFOs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. wormholes mm -hmm. and everything. Nassim Haramein, he yes. did already age dating on two masks. Mm -hmm. Because out of these 3,000 pieces a farmer found, they are from so small, until so big, 3,000 pieces. Mm. And there are some masks with mosaic stone inlay. Mm. And these were glued mm -hmm. with a natural uh, okay. material. So they could do, took from the, from the organic material, mm. it's organic okay. glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they took material and did age dating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 8,000 and 14,000 years. Mm -hmm. For me, it would be 
but again here is the question were we already better than we are now? Yeah, that's a good question. One question. Or were there really aliens from extraterrestrials from another star here? That's the question. That's the question. Because our Mr. Our guy, Mr. Muzic, his way of thinking is that we are or genetically manipulated, manipulated from these <laughs> aliens or they just they just visit us and they um I don't know Mohic. Mohic. Ah, Mohic. Mohic. Ah, let's one. Okay. Yeah. It's his way uh, yeah. Or maybe um they succeed to lift in a few years the thinking and knowledge on the earth really quickly, those aliens. So there's one, you know, mm. which is knowledge from the uh, Sumerian tablet. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, from uh Mokovic. -huh. On to the yeah. Okay. And he can read, he can translate Sumerian no, no, tablets. No, no. You see, always stories yeah. just, uh, arrive here and then Sumerian tablets. Mm -hmm. I said, can you translate? Mm -hmm. Did you make the translation? Mm -hmm. no? no? But he made it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you check? if all what he writes is correct. Mm -hmm. And there are really top specialists in translation of the Sumerian tablets and they definitely do not confirm with the translations of Sijin. Yeah. And he was not studying the translation of the Sumerian tablets. I have information that... He is dead so he cannot... Uh, I don't want to attack him. Mm -hmm. He's just not at all. Yeah. But... Uh, I have information that uh, uh, there is uh, <coughs> there are two kinds of Sumerian tablets. One is fake, so Hitchin mm -hmm. uh, investigate uh, fake one uh, because uh, I, I don't I, I, I no I don't believe this uh, story why to do fake tablets yes. you have to be an expert in translation. And if you are an expert on translation, you will not have time to make fake tablets because you would more interested to 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 translate many plates because in England there are thousands still not translated. Mm -hmm. So I think if I would be an expert on translation, I'm more interested in translation than making fakes. To make fakes, you must be expert. Maybe someone is expert. Uh, it's my opinion because I believe uh, our civilization is uh, is founded on on, on a fear, uh, and uh, and uh, this theory uh, that alien came mm. and, uh, and uh, manipulated the people and but, so on. But, 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 but this was so a good one, point. So this was a good point. You said. The DNA manipulated, okay, but who manipulated the DNA? <coughs> our <laughs> our people now are also starting manipulation yes. with the oh, DNA. Yes. They make they make the cloning, for example, and they they study more and more the, the DNA. You have to check William Brown. He is biophysicist. And he was working in the university in Honolulu, and he's a genius. Mm -hmm. He's not old, he's a young guy. Mm -hmm. And about two years ago, he sent me an email that he watched my research and he likes it so much, and he sent me his newest study. And the newest study was that it approves 100%, 100%, that human does not come from the apes. Mm -hmm. Impossible. He can prove it. Word. He can prove it. So, I, I contacted my friend in South Africa, Michael Dellinger, and he invited him to a conference. Mm -hmm. And he had standing ovation, and people were just shocked about his research. And then he did a, an interview on internet radio in Canada, 
and then the university asked him to leave the university. Because uh -huh. from the computer and just typing down what I know, because that's a stop of researching, mm -hmm. and, and I don't like. Mm -hmm. I always say when I'm 75, maybe, <laughs> and I don't want to travel, then I write a book. <laughs> no, no, no. I have no. This is not my my work. I prefer to to, to be active. No. This was my my work. I earned money and so. Uh -huh. That's uh, the, the cultural, cultural exhibitions. Uh -huh. I did more than 28 cultural exhibitions from Austria to Japan. This was uh, mm. the, 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 the glory of the house of uh, Habsburg. Uh -huh. With all the, 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 the artifacts uh -huh. from, from the best museums in Austria. Uh -huh. Or oh, uh, this was about the, but here this is also connected with Slovenia because this was the yes. Habsburg Empire yes. or the the Biedermeier time or Gustav Klimt, yeah yeah, and 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 Rubens and many 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 things, 28 yeah, and then I started with this exhibition, and if I would have continued this work. Oh, I would have a fine life now, maybe already <laughs> somewhere on holiday, but with this one, mm -hmm. really. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I believe this one is very, very important because uh, yeah. uh, because a new paradigm in, uh, in, in our perception, uh, there is uh, because of our uh, uh, for our surviving. surviving we have to make, make, make shift. That's what I also say, why don't we learn from the from past? The past. Yes, yes. And Rurich, I don't know if you know Rurich, mm -hmm. a Russian, mm -hmm. uh, very, very interesting person. He was many times in Tibet. Mm -hmm. And Rurich had one slogan, which was, if you don't know about your past, you cannot talk about your future, uh -huh. and I like it very much. Uh -huh. That's the guy. Okay, no, okay, yeah. now I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if we study more, what happened? What happened with the high civilization which yes. lived already on Earth? Why did they disappear? Mm -hmm. Global mm -hmm. impact, global catastrophe, a or a war. If we learn, or did they do the same mistakes like we do? Mm -hmm. We are fishing the sea, mm -hmm. there are soon no more fish. Yes. We are poisoning the food with Mon Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah, oh, I had a lot of... I mean, I mean, I mean, we don't know, know. yet what happens with, with, yeah. with, with, if we eat, if our right. children eat Nobody this knows. food. They just they don't know. Everyone just say, it's poison, it's poison, yeah. it's poison, it's poison. Yeah. Everyone in interviews, yeah. but we still eat. I mean, it's still there in the shops, you know. It's still there. It's getting, it's getting powerful more. and more powerful. Yes. Yesterday I put out two articles. Yeah. A new one. Yeah. Mm. It's more and more powerful. I mean, uh, we are using the cell phones. Yeah. What Bravo. happens? Oh, the, the children already, each one in, in the, they talk in Central America. Yes. Everywhere in Asia, the Chinese, they destroy their own country. Yes. They don't care because they get billions and the people, nobody cares. But I have a granddaughter now with two and a half years mm -hmm. and I think about her life, not about mine. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm 64, mm -hmm. so maybe 20 years and then I'm gone. But what the next, next yeah. sense is, uh, generation, mm -hmm. that's what we, we have to think yeah. about it. No? Okay, sure. Super. <laughs> we had a good life. Mm -hmm. We had a good life until now without war, everything. Yeah. But. For how much? 50 years? Uh, no more. No more? Okay, more, well, sorry. 70 years. Nah. Sure, 45 was uh, the last sorry, war. Sorry. Oh no, you no, had. No, you no, had. No, oh. No. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> oh. You think this a lot, you know? I couldn't believe it. Six no. years before. So no, we here, we here. <laughs> yeah.
but now they also try that we lose our neutrality with mm -hmm. the European community. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I hate it. So I know. Also I yeah, hate yeah. it. I know. Yeah. Yesterday I yeah. found one shocking story. Uh, it will be now going out. I know. Yeah. It's, it's the same story as in the USA. Um, you know, I forgot that the United States of America basically are or is a group of 52 countries. Yeah. But we always take a, a granted just the federal government of yeah. them. And we think, ah, they are, and this, and they are the president, whatever, yeah. of America. Yeah. And then one friend of me from Oregon, with just simple discussion, he, he succeeded to make some hole in my mind, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, they, they're supposed to be independent. So we, in Europe, we, we forget that they are, basically, they're supposed to be independent. Supposed. Supposed. And, I know. So, and mm -hmm. now we're getting the same story in Europe. Definitely. That's what they were planning. Mm -hmm. That's what they were I planning. Know. But, look, mm -hmm. in United States, still they have the same language. At, at least this, I know, yeah. But, and <laughs> approximately the same mentality. But think about Europe. In yeah. Finland and in Portugal. It's so big difference. Um, Italy and thinking. Austria. Yeah. And Germany, yes. the mentality, the thinking, the yes. culture is different. So you cannot just uh, make it. Uh, yes. You put one. it all in one pot, yes. and it works. How? Uh, maybe this is okay. Maybe this is a, a safe uh, place for us. You know, I mean, maybe this would be good for us because we are so different. It's not good. Uh, it's not good. I know it's not good because you should keep your own tradition. Yes, in culture. Yeah. So this makes uh, Europe Europe. Yeah. And why war always started? Mm, yes, I know. This was the problem. Can Not you, the can difference. Can a shot when you are doing this? <laughs> 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 but, but more of you. I mean, with this expression of the thought. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's, let's try. Not too serious. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, try to explain me once okay. again. Okay. That's all I could. But the euro. Not to say. Just for one. Who? One shop. One. Yeah. yeah. Who? If you buy mm. the whole like before, mm. it's three, it's four great. times more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still remember 2007 in Greece. Keep, keep your own money. We don't. We have the euro. You have already. Yeah. Yeah, for no. <laughs> for five years. Five years. I don't know. And then the same why, story. Why yeah. we have so big problems? If you go shopping now. Before it That's was be then yeah. something, and now it's two, only two or three something euro. But the difference, yes, yes. people forget. Yes. Simple way. Then you can go up with the price, and people mm -hmm. don't recognize. Mm -hmm. Why? If the euro goes back, we have our own money back. But it won't be so easy. That's the problem. Yeah. So this. We are net payer. Germany is net yeah. there. So we say, what is happens with our money? Are you getting it back? Uh, end of the year, if you check how much you paid, how much came back, who? Uh, <laughs> no. And, and there, were, there is a big discussion now in Austria because the, the politicians were under pressure from uh -huh. the farmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they okay. wanted that all the old yeah, traditional yeah, seed. vegetables, yeah. fruits, yeah. Uh, corn, yeah. everything yeah. disappeared, yeah. Yeah. and then only Monsanto would yeah. be the yeah. big guy. Yesterday in the evening I wrote that wow. about this really strong one because yeah. I could not believe. You know, no. I, when I was asking our minister yesterday, yeah. Um, uh, Mr. What, uh, Minister for Agriculture, yeah. I don't know. I, I asked my colleagues, no, but so they really don't Your know people nothing. don't know. No, you see, then they have it's a meeting, crazy. a nice uh, dinner yeah. in, in uh, Brussels, and, uh, and, and next day we say, yes, yes, you can yes, do that. Yes, yeah. yes. And they, 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 are, they answer me, no, on Monday, the 6th of May. We will have just discussion. Yeah. yeah, but how come? I said, if 
if the paper is two years out now. You yeah. should have, you're supposed to have a final solution on that Monday. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You think so? <laughs> I'm sure. Your minister. Huh? Yes. Oh, holy I smoke. With, <laughs> I go with minister and three of his uh, secretaries. Director and phone. Because they won't immediately answer. They don't know. No. Seriously, they don't know. Yeah. And this well, is this is I what what, joke. what the, because the few people get paid by Monsanto yeah. and, 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 and in the parliament yeah. they make friendship and they say, Look, this is much better, we have yeah. to do that and, and you know so what? so so it we feel like that you Austrians you get so high up. Just because of Austria now this story is coming out. Yes. Yeah. Just Our because people of Austria, got yeah. very hot. I know. Wow. I know. Because we have traditional apples uh -huh, and fruits uh -huh, and everything uh -huh, uh -huh. which survive our climate. Who Almost. knows who knows the Monsanto okay. shit if there is really yeah. hard climate yeah. if it survives. Mm -hmm. And in the past Austria was possible of self uh self dependence. Yeah. 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 In food. In food. Mm -hmm. Now no more. I know. Because I they pay the them. farmers and after 15 minutes, my name was called. I said, well, what happened? Mm. And I went there, and one uh, staff said, I have to go with. In one room like this, there was one scanner, mm -hmm. my luggage, and the carton okay. box. Yeah. What's this? And yeah. 15 military police with weapons around my luggage. And Interpol officer said, is this your luggage? I said, yes. He said, what is inside the carton box? I said, water from Ecuador. <laughs> he said, open it. And I, I did not pack it. And I thought, shit. Mm -hmm. if, they, if someone was putting me some yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. cocaine or something inside 20 years, uh -huh. I thought, that's it. Now they get you. And I was opening the box and nervous, believe me. Uh -huh. And I took out one bottle, two bottles, ten bottles, nothing inside. Uh -huh. I said, water from Ecuador. He said, put it back. I put it back. He brought the box to the scanner and scanned it three times. Uh -huh. But I couldn't see it. No? Uh -huh. So he came back, he made a telephone call. He said, you wait. Uh -huh. I said, what's because happening? Because it shows some... Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Then a doctor came with the injection and he took something, water, oh, oh. and I saw, shit, they put some cocaine in the water. <laughs> <laughs> because never ever I touched this stuff, but this is a easy, simple trick yeah, to put yeah. you to jail, yes, yeah. because you cannot yeah. prove this is your luggage. I, I, I yes. agreed, yeah, this is my luggage. Mm. So, this is your stuff, you go. Mm. How many times happened? Mm. Huh? A lot. So, 30 minutes, but you have to be there already three hours before, no? otherwise, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so I, but I was nervous, no? and then 30 minutes later, Dr. Ken, discussion with the interval, he took again the box and scanned again, and suddenly he said, you can go, and I was sitting, I said, where can I smoke, he said, non-smoker, I said, okay, <laughs> So, wait, we went to Bogota, mm -hmm. and I told my friend, oh shit, now we have the same problem, but I don't know why. So we arrived, nothing. Two days later, departure, I said, let's be there three hours before, yeah. because if we have the same problem, eh? nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. In Vienna airport, yeah. I went out. Nothing to declare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left side, right side, private policeman, please come with us. Mm -hmm. So I went with the policeman to the scanning room and they said, What did you, where, where, where are you coming from? I said, From Ecuador. Said, what are you doing here? I said, I was researching for an exhibition. What kind of exhibition? I said, I did 2001 an exhibition on unsolved mysteries in Vienna. The, the second policeman said, are you the organizer? 
I said, your wife? He said, I was with my wife two times there. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Did you find something? I said, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. That's why they didn't know what is inside, because they, they didn't mm -hmm. see why? anything. That's so big show. Ah. Well, I was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have... Yeah. yeah. And what about seven meters point six? This is this is remarkable. This this is remarkable. Uh -huh. A friend of mine imported uh -huh. a few a few wa years ago, uh -huh. long time ago. Uh -huh. This water was two thousand four. It was filled. So two thousand four. We checked it last year in Fresenius Institution. Clean, they didn't believe that it's so old. Because if you have a normal water yeah, no. in a plastic yeah. bottle, yeah. nine years, drink yeah. it, yeah. 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 drink it. Yeah. This one, you can, if you like, you can have a test. Can I? If you, if you trust. You are fully, this is a COVID-19, I heard that. Yeah, so it's a good thing. Yeah, 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 it's a good uh, Jan, eh? Jan, colleague. Uh, someone in Slovenia, very smart, very green man in Maribor, uh, uh, that we were discussing about uh, uh, Holy Ground. Eh? Mm -hmm. Holy Ground. Ah, yeah, that was a uh, crazy good idea. Yeah. 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 I don't know nothing. I was there. Sorry about the holy ground. Yeah. Uh, here, one idea is this one. Uh, holy ground is uh, not something uh, to. to uh, um, not, nothing material. But, uh, but it's not what you know. It's it? the idea. The idea of the of the so, gold of the gold. Take a look at that. Ah, to find him. Idea of the gold that that brings you uh, immortality. Ah, yeah. She's mm -hmm. my coach. The white, the white, the white, the white powder. powder. The white powder. powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you are right. Yeah, you're right. The holy grail. There are so many possibilities. Again, I also say. You cannot look what they found there. Exactly where the well is. There is, they found <coughs> while gold digging in 1984. Mm -hmm. They found in a tunnel 350, about 350 artifacts, mm -hmm. which most of them do not belong to any known pre-Columbian culture. Mm -hmm. And the most intriguing is the world stone map. Around the stone. So, and here is the Bay of Guayaquil, mm -hmm. and there you have an inlay coming up a little bit, mm -hmm. and a round point, and this is exactly where this water is. Mm -hmm. um, and exactly oh. there, the 350 pieces were found. And many of the pieces are more Asia, Middle East, this area, but not South America. So that means, first of all, this, this map must be older than 10,000 years, <coughs> because you have Atlantis, and you have, in where now is Japan Island, mm -hmm. and Taiwan, there is one long continent. And this is exactly like Kimura, the, the uh -huh, under, yeah. undersea geologist, yeah. with his researches. He says he wrote the book, The, Sunken Con uh, the Lost Continent Move. Yeah. With his research, he said, from northern 
Japan until far down to Taiwan, there was one long continent. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's exactly as he is explaining, it is on this world map stone. Mm -hmm. And the next one is, there you have You have one big cup and twelve little cups. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you have a perfect star constellation. Mm -hmm. The Pleiades, Orion, yeah, the belt really. of Orion, everything. Inlay, perfect done. And if you put, the, and it's light colors, but if you put ultraviolet light on it, mm -hmm. very strong the colors. Yeah. Yeah. And inside this cup, it's completely magnetical. Mm. Outside, no, little bit, yeah, but not. Only in the triangle of, in the pyramid style, in the triangle exactly here. <laughs> and every geologist tells me that's impossible because if this stone material, this mm. Uh, mm. like a jade, mm. mm -hmm. if there is iron inside, it yeah. must be magnetical from both sides. Mm -hmm. Impossible from one side no. and one side not that impossible. <laughs> it's possible. And the numbers on the little cups are different mm -hmm. with the Mayan, but very similar. And every cup is handmade, you can see. And every cup is a little bit different in size. But we filled up all 12 little cups very plain. And then we were putting the water very carefully into the big one, yeah. and the big one and is yeah. plain yeah. one. Yeah. How, How did they make it? I mean, fantastic. But, <coughs> now you have one big cup, and you have twelve cups, yeah. thirteen. Mm -hmm. Then you have here this stone. This, what, this is broken here. Mm -hmm. It was a heart. Uh, hmm. And exactly in the middle, the color changes from brown to black. And when you see this picture on on screen, and mm -hmm. I give you the picture, yeah, well, I, uh, every of my friends who looked at it on big screen, he said, "Wow, it looks like the shroud of Turin." Oh, because they still believe that it's around the blade. Yeah. Supposed to be some special yeah. water. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, but these artifacts are just incredible. There is a cobra. Also, mm. It's all from the same place. With 33 and 7. The 7 chakras mm -hmm. seven and chakras the 33. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, this is, you can lay your head inside or you even can put this on your shoulders, uh -huh. it's granite, and the inlays here yeah, in are exactly the, the acupuncture Sorry. points on, on, on the head. Uh -huh. So what civilization was it? Mm -hmm. It's granite, mm -hmm. also with wonderful inlays. And this is Kundalini. Mm -hmm. Kundalini is mm -hmm. Asia. Asia. Yes, yes. It says nothing within that the, the sexual energy mm -hmm. is going like a snake like on a the snake. back <laughs> up to the third eye. Hmm. And you have this book in English? I can send you the, the translation, the English translation. But we did it. Book does not exist. No, no. Okay, then I'll buy it in general. Hmm. No, you get this and no, I no, give no, I give you this anyway. And I send you by mail the translation. Oh, yeah, so of, of only of the art. We, okay. we did only the translation of the artifact, uh -huh. so that you know what is yeah, what well, picture yeah. and okay, so, so on. Yeah. Can I put also later on the internet the others, to the public? Which ones? Um, this translation or exists to the internet? Right, or to the internet, because uh, we have to, when we did this cutting, mm -hmm. I didn't know too much already. Uh -huh. So in the last 11 years, okay. we know now many, many more uh -huh. explanations. Uh -huh. So I don't want that the old, old, old are uh, dis distributed because yeah. we, we, we know more now. Okay. And we did, 
we did the exhibition planning, we, we started three years before, mm -hmm. and one and a half years we selected only 356 artifacts which are in museums. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then a museum director, Austrian museum director, a friend of mine, because we went several times yeah, to yeah, Japan, yeah. he wrote on his museum paper to all his colleagues worldwide for lending these artifacts. Mm -hmm. From 656 requests, how many do you think we got? Usually, <laughs> usually, if yeah. the colleague is yeah. asking yeah. the colleague, you have a percentage of 50. 90. Uh, 90? Yeah. Uh -huh, so high. On, on the normal art. Normal art. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many we got? Five. What? <laughs> then it was one and a half years before the exhibition, and I already signed the contract for the for the for the lending for the rental of the, of the exhibition hall. Mm -hmm. So all my friends told me you better pay the penalty because this is impossible. Mm -hmm. I say impossible. Now we have still one and a half years. And then we started telephone traveling, everything. Mm -hmm. And was vegetarian before. before. And then the business went down. Mm -hmm. And she went bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And now with no feeling, no nothing. But a friend of mine, the owner of these artifacts, there are two wells, and he has now the second well mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. So to go there and to stay there a week, you are just sure. wow. incredible. And you know why I was never tired? Because three months before the exhibition opening, the most busy time the last three months, mm -hmm. I had this artifact, this is only the replica, perfect. A Croatian, art, uh, a Slovenian artifact, uh, artist made it. Uh, yes? Uh, yeah. Who? Mm. I give you the name. Okay. Marco. He's, he's now... Uh, Marco Marco Marco. Marco. No, 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 no. He was she many years... He? he was he. He was many years uh, staying in Vienna, and he was uh, doing some works in this in exhibition, some replicas, and he did the perfect replica. The original looks exactly like this because one. Because it has kind of energy. Because it's natural material, kalk, because here a little bit broken. Uh -huh. And specialists did measurement. This has 25% energy of the original. Mm -hmm. And the original I had in a wood box next to my desk mm -hmm. in the office, mm -hmm. three months. So, one day, about a month before the exhibition, one lady called me, she said, may I visit you because I heard about your exhibition and if you have photos, I can make the measurement of the energy. Mm -hmm. So she came and she checked some photos and said, very much energy, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't be, at that time I didn't believe in this. I uh -huh. thought, okay, again the lady, she knows the energy because I never feel something. I do, I do. I never I feel something and I asked several times shamans and people and they told me this is the, the protection, my protection, because yeah. I could not handle with so many artifacts if I get all this energy. Uh -huh. was, that's why I don't yeah. feel energy. Uh -huh. no? But Somehow okay, it must <laughs> somehow it must affect my 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 body because it was the box was three months next mm. to my desk. Yes. So when this lady I thought now I checked this lady, I said, Can you also feel energy through uh, wood? No? No. Can you also feel energy on the original? because it was in the box. She said, yes, of course, I can feel it. So, okay, I put the box, she was sitting here, and I put the box right here, yeah. and she put her scale yeah. on, and she went with the pendle yeah, over yeah, the yeah, box, pendle. and she said, <laughs> 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 
What do you have inside here? <laughs> I said, a stone? A stone, stone plate? Why? She said, can I see? I said, yeah. Mm. I opened the box and I took it out and I gave it to her and she jumped back with the chair for two meters. She said, BOOM! Italian fascist. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> that's uh, that's uh, uh, Ethiopia, yeah. In Ethiopia, yeah, right. yeah the Italians in uh, it, uh, Ethiopia before Second World War. Mm -hmm. you know, when yeah, okay. they occupied. Yeah, uh, um, so there's a story. Yeah, there's a story that they uh, they were looking for a criminal area, the yeah. box of. Uh, um, no, from the Bible. From, from the, the Bible. Old, ah, uh, the, the box. The Ark of Covenant. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you know the story? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. No? Hmm? The story of the Italian? No, no. no. Graham Hancock. Yeah? Uh, oh, he was researching in yes. his book, he was yes. writing yes. that he thinks yes. that it is but, there. Uh, but the, the event with the fascists, uh, uh, it was documented, but uh, I have I uh, looking for it, but uh, never, never find uh, so uh, there's a story, something like that. Uh, uh, Italians were, were with, with uh, equipment, uh, military, so tanks and mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, Ethiopians were with uh, with um, uh, arrows. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes yeah. uh, But they uh, took out the 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 this box. This box. This box. Yeah. And, and, and there was there were. Uh, um, a lot of uh, Italians they were completely crushed, completely dead, dead, uh, about, I don't know. Is this real? I can think of that. Maybe he watched uh, uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That is, I mean, that artifact, you know, <laughs> it has a history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be. I don't know about that story, yeah. but I can ask Adriano Forgione, he is the publisher of Hera magazine uh -huh. in Italy, he knows all these uh, kind of stories, I will, I will ask him what oh, he thinks okay. about that, mm -hmm. yeah. because approval about many things we have, we, we, I got... Well, Graham Keke was there, in, in, where, where is the place that holds this, uh, this box? No, but he couldn't see it. Uh, he was not allowed to go in. Nobody is ever allowed no, to no, go in. No. So yes. nobody. No. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no. No. Nobody is allowed to go in. Yeah. So the, the big question still is. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. monastery. Monastery. Oh. And it's so careful, with friends, a chapel, yes. chapel with chapel. friends around, mm -hmm. and there are guards. Yeah, uh -huh. And nobody is allowed. Even yeah. he was not allowed to go in. No. Nobody ever is, is... That's why the question is, is it really inside there? Mm -hmm. But if, uh, if so many Italians were dead there, it has to be somewhere docu documented. Of course. Must, Must be. be. Yeah. About, uh, I don't know... So uh, I, I try to uh, find out this. Three or four hundred... Yeah. Three or four hundred dead uh, Italians. That's, that's of, uh, there would be uh, there would be a documentation yes. about it, yes. definitely. Yes. Yes. Everybody was Hitler also was searching with Himmler, with yeah, with, Himmler. with Otto Rahn, the SS archaeologist. Yes. He went many times to Rennes le Chateau to Moss about that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the train went from Berlin to Prague. Uh, did not arrive in Prague. I did not arrive. Uh -huh. That's why some pieces uh -huh. uh, appeared in Germany. Mm -hmm. In the story about the crystal skulls, uh, there's uh, some myth if, uh, if uh, <coughs> I believe, so 20 skulls. No, there is a myth, a myth yes. about 13 ah, crystal 13. skulls. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they exist, 13. And Until and now, uh, have to be uh, have to happen if uh, if they found uh, the last one. I don't know. Uh, uh, no, you 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 should you must bring them together. Yes. yes. Yeah, I yes. Yeah, but 
which one is the right one. Uh -huh. We <laughs> had six skulls in Vienna in the exhibition, mm -hmm. and our expert, he was, he was worldwide the number one expert on precious stonework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was working as the director of the treasure room in the most famous museum in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And he, he definitely he is he was known as the expert on mm -hmm. precious stone and crystal works. Mm -hmm. So he checked all six skulls, and he said they are really handmade. Mm -hmm. But also the Mitchell Hedges skull, mm -hmm. the most mm -hmm. famous yes, one, yes, yes, yes. alien one, <laughs> cannot be made. All this explanation, Mitchell Hedges <coughs> went nineteen. 19, 1984, she went to get this museum and asked if they can do a check on the sky. And they said, no, there is only one real expert. His name is Rudolf Distelberger, and he is working in the Vienna Museum. Mm -hmm. So Mitchell Hedges came with her sky to Vienna, and Dr. Distelberger did a very serious check on the sky. Mm -hmm. And he was a very a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. He did not say this is not handmade. Mm -hmm. He said, mm -hmm. in my opinion, this crystal skull was made at the end of 19th century in Eder Oberstein in Germany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if he says so, mm -hmm. for me it's clear mm -hmm. this skull is mm -hmm. Germany. And what was, yeah, and there is a story now, the ancient uh, aliens debunked, and uh, this guy did a very good research on the Mitchell Hedges story also, mm -hmm. and they found out that, that this was uh, not found in mm -hmm. uh, Belize, that's, mm -hmm. that's wrong, mm -hmm. and as they always said, it's impossible to do this guy. Uh, the the National Geographic. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They went to China, uh -huh. to to a place where they are making now the crystal skulls from small to big ones, uh -huh. wonderful skulls, and they ordered to do the same skull like Mitchell Hedges skull, uh -huh. and they made it exactly with the jaw taking away and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Because always the people said it's impossible, or in English it's ludite, ludite. Uh, it's very hard. The same material it's with uh, 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 the small, small yeah, yeah, medical, yeah. medical equipment. We, we did also the medical instruments yeah. all for the material check, because mm -hmm. the owner didn't know what material it is. And ludite is very hard. But the structure is very like like leaves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. so it breaks very easy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you never can make such. Also, not a disc out of the lady. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I understand. Yeah. So Dr. Distelbacher went with us, mm -hmm. and when we got the result that this this and the other pieces are lutid, he said, "I'm happy that I am also here because I wouldn't believe you." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he checked it very carefully, everything, and after two hours he said, I cannot tell you who made it, <laughs> I cannot tell you when they made it, and I cannot, I cannot tell you how they made it, but the only thing I can tell you from the same material we are not able to do the same piece today. Mm -hmm. So crystal skulls, they are possible to to make these days? These days but no. Ludit? No. No, you cannot. Yes, Ludit. But uh, in crystal, with crystal, it's possible. With crystal it's possible, uh, but, but not Ludit. Mm -hmm. This one is impossible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look, this is... Here you can see, also in the original, Mm -hmm. it's, it's the structure like leaves, so it's very easy to break away uh -huh. piece here, yeah, yeah. or here. Mm -hmm. It's very easy that this breaks okay. straight away. No? Mm -hmm. And you see that it's precise done, except 
Yeah. Yeah. And here, I think while he was working on it, this part broke away. And then, yeah. But still, he still could he finalize. Uh, yeah. 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 But on the other hand, first of all, who made it? <laughs> no? Second, when? when? And third is if they, they, you have here the human egg with spermia yeah. and the human egg without spermia. And here you have the spermias. Mm -hmm. That means things which you can only see with the microscope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I should mm -hmm. say, must have been aliens. Mm -hmm. no? But for me, strange is <laughs> also here the fetus in different here in different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. phases. Phase. Why, if they can do such a great piece? Why they are, they were showing the people with such large head mm. and big eyes? Mm. This is the only thing which is which uh, is wondering. Aliens. Huh? <laughs> <Bizarre, Sure. yeah. laughs> <laughs> I would I would get more more uh, how to say sensation if I would say so. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Aliens. They mm. came here and they showed the people and everything. No. I cannot say it because we don't know. Yes, yes. Did people exist with the bigger head? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. I, I had an interview with uh, a woman from Slovenia about this matter or problem. So we don't know what is happening in the bodies of those animals. And we eat and the animals. And we eat those animals. Yeah. Mm. And we are doing now this for like 10 or even more than 4 years. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, at least we know we have a problem with hormones. Yeah. You know, the young guys in Slovenia have a problem with... Yeah. 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 We know that. But, what but there, were, there, were th there were tests with mice, with mouse, mm -hmm. with... with French uh, study. Right? Yeah. yeah. French study. They died? Yeah. Hey, come on. Not just that. They degenerate. Yeah. 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 They died fully. Yeah. Could it be that... Internal organs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Degenerate. Could it be that they look then like this? Well, Who knows? Who knows? Then that's true. You have the, the children's sickness where they sometimes mm, yeah. get such a yeah. head, no? So they get yeah. them and the eyes are yeah. white. And yeah. Things. Maybe this is kind of uh, warning. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. But one more story for the crystal skulls, because I also did not believe these stories that crystals can tell you something about the future and so on. <laughs> yeah. And when we had the exhibition 2004 in November in Switzerland, one Russian shaman came, a fantastic shaman, but really great lady. And she asked if she can go with me after nine o'clock, after closing, quiet through the exhibition with interpreter and she will explain me many things. Mm -hmm. And she could explain me things which I knew, but in the exhibition you cannot write one artifact, a long story, because mm -hmm. people never read it. Yes. So you only read the most important things. But I knew more about several artifacts, and she could tell me. So I was really surprised. <laughs> and then she went to, to, to the crystal skies, mm -hmm. and then she meditated. Mm -hmm. And she was talking in a language which I never ever heard in mm -hmm. my life. Very strange. And then she came back and she talked in Russian to the interpreter mm -hmm. and the interpreter translated to German. Mm -hmm. And there was one, one skull from uh, uh, Mongolia. And she said she received two informations from this guy. That one. She said, one is for you. I said, oh. Mm -hmm. She said, in the near future, you will dig out many things from the earth. But you have to leave the earth afterwards in a good condition. Mm -hmm. And the second information was, in a few days, a big wave will kill hundred thousands of people. And this was in November mm -hmm. 2004. And in, on 26th of December 2004, the tsunami in mm -hmm. Southeast Asia killed 
mm. hundred thousands of people. So I started believing in mm. there is something. But at that moment, I had no idea of excavation, and I thought, oh, no. what shall I excavate? I am not the archaeologist. Yeah, yeah. And now with my friend, we get all the informations where the crystal, any crystal, can has information. Mm -hmm. Any crystal, mm -hmm. because that's why Hewlett Packard is now mm -hmm. testing the chips of crystal, which are much, 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 much better than any modern uh, mm -hmm. thing. Okay, any crystal can have something, but an interesting story of this guy from Himmler. Well, my friend and two of his friends, they did several tests with this guy, with light and laser and everything. And he told me, if he would have been alone, he would have thought he is now yeah. crazy. He said there were three of them, and they used special sound frequency and laser, and suddenly they saw a man on a camel riding on their direction. Mm -hmm. And they were really shocked. Mm -hmm. And then he disappeared, and then they saw a lady face sleeping and opening the eyes and looking at them like this. He said, my hair was really standing mm -hmm. like this. There are informations inside, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we don't know how to take the information. Mm -hmm. yeah? That would be also if you give a DVD to to yes, new Genian <laughs> yeah, yeah. indigenous. <laughs> what would, what uh, would they do? Wow! Yeah. Nice. Nice. Maybe a mirror. No? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. For fun to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. That is. Yeah. That's true. And, and about the, the writing, when I was always complained from the scientists, the, the unknown writing all over the world, mm -hmm. they said, look, if they had a high civilization, if there was a high civilization, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't you think they would use some other material mm -hmm. to give information? Mm -hmm. No, because stone mm -hmm. is the only material which doesn't change the yeah. surface. Mm -hmm. Look, look at us. Yeah. You remember the big soft floppies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you read now one? No. No one. You know what's going on? My old CDs with focus. Just eight years old. Yeah. I could have a problem. You see? Yeah, yeah. Eight so years. what are we doing? What are we doing? Losing our uh, history. Yeah. yeah. Losing our information. Uh, information. They, they wrote it in stone. Mm. Yeah. And they knew mm. in 10,000 years, in 100,000 mm. years, mm. in mm. 1 million mm. years, yeah. if somebody finds these stones, mm. maybe he finds a way to translate it. No? Mm. Oh, this is. And this is amazing. This is. Then, then she asked me if she can hold this in original, because she said this is just such an incredible positive energy. And then she was holding it for about ten minutes mm -hmm. like this, and she was sweating. sweating. And then she came back. She gave it to me, and she said, "There are so many informations uh -huh. that she alone is not able to take it. She uh -huh. would need." Three or four, like she, like and then she. they could try to, to, to get the information, and you know what?
Ja mam tutaj jeszcze jedną rzecz, którą chciałem powiedzieć. Ja mam tutaj jeszcze jedną rzecz, którą chciałem powiedzieć. Ja mam tutaj jeszcze jedną rzecz, którą chciałem powiedzieć. Ja mam tutaj jeszcze jedną